Why, hello everybody. We are back again with another video. In our last video, I don't want to recap too much because we've done quite a lot of recapping, but the big thing I wanted to show you guys was that we've pretty much got everything done on Twitch. We've got our setup looking good. We've got our panels. We've got our background. We have a logo now. We have now done quite a bit. We also have a OBS setup. And if you guys missed the last video, go check that one out. But more importantly, the one big key thing we're missing is chatbots. Now, today, most people don't realize that there's only a couple chatbots on the market. We have Nightbot, we have Stream Elements chatbot, we have Streamlabs chatbot, and there's a couple of others out there that I don't really want to go into because those are the three big ones. What if there was a way for us to use the power of chat GPT to be useful inside of our Twitch chat, the ultimate chatbot. Instead of having to reprogram things and put in commands and do all the extra stuff that we are way too lazy to do, how about we just upgrade our stream chat by just adding in AI? It's as simple as that. I mean, quite honestly, if we're gonna be professional streamers and we're gonna hit Twitch partner, I don't have time to put in a thousand commands. It's much easier if we just have an AI do all of it for us and that's exactly what we're going to do today so in this video i'm going to show you step by step how to add chat gpt to your twitch chat and for those of you who do not know what chat gpt is chat gpt is a ai learning tool it's been all over the news most of you have probably heard about it how it's taking over the world and i for one am all for our ai overlords taking over everything because quite honestly they make my life so much easier. Thank you, AI, for making my life easier. Please remember not to destroy me and my family when the AI uprising happens. So when the AI inevitably take over human life, and I will just make sure that this video stands strong to let them know that I am one of the good humans. We are using chat GPT in our chat for good reasons. And trust me, we're definitely not gonna be getting into any shenanigans today. Just trust me. The cool thing is with ChatGPT, it's an AI learning software that when you type in a prompt or a chat, we can set it up so that way it connects to your Twitch and you can ask it literally anything. For example, we're gonna ask it, who is Mr. E Booty? And ChatGPT should definitely come back with something interesting. Oh, well, that's sad. Fine, they don't understand who Mr. E Booty is, but they will, they all will. Because we will be the next big, Twitch partner. Trust me on that. It's going to happen. Let's get into how I figured this out, how you can figure it out, how you can add it to your Twitch chat personally. And of course, we'll add in some memes because that's just who Mr. E Booty is. Without further ado, we did some digging and I want to give a big shout out to O Satanus. I have messed that name up quite a bit, uh, but he made a really cool step by step guide on how to add Chat GPT into four simple steps. So we followed these steps and we did a lot of testing and I'm gonna go over the results today. In the description below, I will link all of the things that you will need. So do not worry, I will show you this, but the first place we have to go is go to GitHub. Go ahead and click the link in the description and once you do this, follow along. For step number one, it's fairly simple. All we're going to do is we're gonna to go to GitHub, we're gonna to go to the link in the description and we're going to fork this project. So we're gonna fork and what this is going to do is it's going to create a new fork. Uh, this is a copy of the repository that you will need to have ChatGPT in your Twitch chat. You'll have all the packages and everything you will need and a nice little readme. From here, the second thing you will need is to have an open AI account. When you go to open AI, you must make an account. And when you make an account, what we have to do next is we want to go and go to view API keys. Now this is very important. I ran into this problem and for some reason, these pesky corporate overlords want us to pay them money, which I did. But if you have a brand new account that you have made, you do not need to pay money. I paid them $50. That's right. I'm paying money for you because guess what? This testing is only possible with your support and this is a great chance for you to uh, like and comment on the video so that the YouTube algorithm will understand that Mr. eBooty is the best of the best. When you make a new account, you should be given $10 limit that you can use in the next three months. You don't have to pay a dime for this completely free. Do not worry. First thing we're going to have to do is you're going to go up to where it is. Of course, you guys know I'm with iLeveled and you can see my email here. Shout out to my email. Hit me up whenever you want. Uh, we can go to view API keys and we need to create a new secret key. So we create this new secret key and we'll name it Mr. E Booty is legit. We'll create secret key 
And of course, this key that you see on screen will be deleted. Don't try and hack Mr. Ebooty because you know I'm just gonna delete this. But we'll hit done. And now we have our secret key. Halt the video. Listen to my words. Let the mustache and the top hat enter your brain. Take the secret key and put it into a notepad. Do not lose that secret key because if you do, you will then have to delete this key and create a brand new one and start again. The next step is to train your chatbot. That's right, we're gonna put the chatbot through a little bit of some Taekwondo and we're gonna make sure that the chatbot knows exactly what information we want when somebody chats in our chat. ChatGPT will use this file context.txt file in order to give it some personality. So before it responds, it makes sure to respond cleverly, maybe? We're gonna go to file context.txt and we're going to go up to the top right and we're gonna go to edit this file. So when we edit this file, I've added along a couple of different things. One of the big issues on ChatGPT is that on Twitch, you can only have 399 characters for any response. ChatGPT, when it makes a request, it doesn't know how long the text message should be. It just kind of does it. It's, it's, it's magic. It's AI magic. The first thing I want you to do is I've added these two little prompts down here. Response equals ChatGPT dot generate a prompt. And then response equals ChatGPT truncate. And we're going to truncate the response to under 399. This means that when we type something in in our chat, this allows us to tell ChatGPT, hey, when you respond, make sure it's under 399, because if not, the ChatGPT will just simply write you an entire novel and Twitch will just say, nope, not gonna happen, Mr. Ebooty. Soon we will be able to, but not today. The next thing is we have some standard stuff. You are a Twitch chatbot and are answering prompts from multiple viewers. You are part of a community and take part as an independent viewer. More on this later. Be nice to everybody. Create a natural, engaging, and enjoyable atmosphere. I added in, try to make Star Wars jokes here and there, but I'm gonna change this. Try and make mustache jokes here and there. Include top hat humor, because why not? Don't engage in the talks about politics or religion. Be respectful towards everybody because, of course, we do not want to talk about politics or religion. We're here to be professional and nobody wants to come to your chat and talk politics. Maybe unless you're Hassan. Not on this channel. Not today, chatbot. Not today. Next up, we're going to have use these phrases within your response. Now, this is something I've added in personally and I've done some testing. I am using my main Twitch account. So, I have a couple of emotes. So, the cool thing is, is if you use phrases within your responses, you can have it where you type in these characters here that you've created for your emotes. So these are the names of my emotes. So make sure you can add in, just go ahead and make sure you use these phrases within your responses and then add in the own names of your own emotes. And this will make the chatbot respond with emotes directly in your chat. This also works for better TTV or Franker face Z emote. So it's really cool. Add a little bit of flair. A next thing that's really important is that do this call and action request within certain text responses. What this does is in the future, we're going to show you a video on how to integrate something called StreamerBot into your Twitch stream. It is an awesome program. I highly recommend you do that. But for me, I have connected StreamerBot to do certain things within the stream and more on that later on in another video. But one thing you can do is every time a viewer asks, can you change the color? The action is the chatbot AI. That's right being as smart as they are, will say yes right away. And then they will type change color in a second message. This allows me to set up a command and change the color of my scenes within the stream automatically. That's right. You heard it here first. Again, I've got some really cool things that's going to be coming down the pipeline with this. Um, so I will be showing you another whole video of really cool things you could do with AI in your chat. The name of your stream is Leveled AF. That is my current stream. The name of the streamer is called Leveled and the stream community members are called gamers. So I also say at the very end, limit your word count to only 25 words maximum, and please answer the prompts now of the viewer. So you can want to make any changes and then hit commit changes. We're gonna commit them to the main branch and commit changes, and we committed them. So now they are saved and this is all good. So let's go back up to the top left. Oh look, you've made it halfway through the video and so far so good. It's amazing how we can get AI in order to add into our stream. But you know what's even cooler than adding AI to our stream? Having a professionally set up and looking chef's kiss perfect stream. And that's exactly what we do 
at iLevel.com. Not only do we sell awesome overlays for OBS and Streamlabs, we also can help you set up your stream. So if you have some cool things or some ideas that you want to add to your streams, we can do it for you. So go to iLevel.com and then you can check out our services page and that will bring you where you can reach out to us and we will just help you with it. For the next, let's just say 30 people who like this video, I'm going to give you 15% off of anything in the store, including the services. So if you are interested and you want to do that, like the video, I can check the likes and then I can send you a little link. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's get back to the video. We have to start running it and we're going to be using something called node.js. I am not a coder. I have no idea what this does. I'm just going to tell you that it works and I just need you to trust me. So the next step is we're going to go to a, it's called a deploy this repo on cyclic, Cy cyclic, I'm calling it cycle. Cyclic. We're going to go to cycle here. Cyclic. And we're deploy. So click this blue button. I've already done it. So I'm going to go here. And what this will do is it will have you connect your GitHub repo into Cycling and then we'll open up into this thing. So there's a couple things we have to do here. If we go back over here, we have to go ahead and set some environment variables. So there's three big ones. There's GPT mode, there's history length, and then this is your open AI key. Again, it should be very secret. So we'll go to Cyclic and then we want to go over to variables. You may have to add a variable um, and you simply add the variable and then you can go back and just go to say jet, chat GPT mode, copy and paste, and then you can add in your values. For me, I've already done that. So we have our chat GPT mode. We have our history length. It is recommended that you set your history length to 10. This seems to be the best. I have used this for a while and it seems that 10 works. I've tried as high as 200 and it's way too much. And then lastly, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna add in your open API key and then you're gonna copy and paste this API key. Do you remember? Did you remember to save it? Did you put it into a, a text file? Did you? Did you? Did you? You're gonna go to open API key and you're gonna add in your key. And then after it's all done, there's gonna be this save icon. Just click save. And we're gonna go back to overview. So the next step is there's two options. If you are a stream elements user, you're going to copy and paste this right here. And if you're not, you're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this into Nightbot. It only works with stream elements and Nightbot. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this on stream elements first for today. Now for testing purposes, of course, I'm gonna be on my main account. And then we're going to do the exact same process and we're going to have Mr. E Booty be a bot. That's right. We're going to turn Mr. E Booty from a streamer into a bot, into a different channel. And then we're going to do vice versa. I'm going to go ahead and log in. We're going to log in with Twitch. And then of course I will be using my main account, which I am right here. We're going to go to chat bot. We're going to go to chat commands. We're going to go to custom commands. And then I've made one called Lev GPT. And what you'll notice here is it's a little bit different from what the other one is. So I'm gonna copy and paste this into the description for you because if you go back over here, this is a little bit new and I'm using an older command. Both of them work. I have tested both, they both work, but we can just keep track. So I'm gonna put this command in the description so that way you can use it and copy and paste and put it in there for yourself. Now what you'll notice here is that there's a couple things that we have to RL fetch. This part is blotted out. Uh, so that way you can't see this and use my own bot. Oh, what we're going to do is um, it's very, very simple. We it's called your cyclic URL app. Now, if we go back over here, you're going to notice this thing that's blurred out here is my URL. So you can just simply take this URL, we're going to copy, and then we're going to paste it right into here, just like so, ba-bam. And once that's done, um, it will then hit save, and this will begin to work. And let's just see what the response is. Uh-oh. Deleted the wrong one before the video. The entire video before this, you can use that API key. It doesn't even work. I, I made a brand new API key and I, I followed the steps. I just added it into this variables. I made it work in Cyclic. So that's the only thing. It's very, very easy. If you lose your API key, just create a new one, put it in the right variable spot in Cyclic, cyc cyc Cycle, cyc 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 Cyclic, and then you're good to go. Well, watch this. Is this YouTube video going to get 1 million views? Hmm, what is it gonna say? What is it gonna say? What is it gonna say? Only time will tell, gamer. Oh no, but keep promoting it, who knows? It might just happen. That's exactly what we wanted to hear. Let's do this. Let what is your favorite color?
As a chatbot, I don't have a favorite color, but I'm happy to change the color for you. Yes, right away. Type change color. Oh, it did it. See? Exactly. This is the power. This is the power. If we go back to the file context, anytime somebody's asking about color, it's automatically putting in yes right away and then types the change color for us. So it makes it so cool where you can add in any variables, any information you want. If you want it to do something for your OBS, you can do it. If you wanted to change the color of your scenes, you can do it. If you wanted to prompt a user to do something else, you can do it. If you wanted to change and send a YouTube video link, it can do it. It can do whatever you want. Watch this, let's do it again. I'm gonna edit this real quick. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna say viewer. Watch this, watch this. What is Mr. E Booty's YouTube? We'll copy this, and we'll go to action, and we'll do this, and then Mr. E Booty is the mustache and top hat lord here is the link and then we're going to do this and then we're going to go ahead and paste that link in there and then that is the response and then we can go ahead and watch this it's as simple as this we commit the changes we commit it changes and then we can go ahead and we can just copy this and let me show you and we ask that question what is mr e booty's youtube page let's see what the response is going to look like do it do the thing. Mr. E Booty is a mustache and top hat lord. Here is the link. Who is Mr. E Booty? Watch this. If we just type in Mr. E Booty, let's see what it comes back with. Mr. E Booty is a legendary member of the gamer community. He rocks a mustache and top hat like no one else. That's what I'm talking about, chatbot. Ladies and gentlemen, it is simply that easy. Just simply adding in ChatGPT to your stream, you no longer have to worry about adding in each individual command. You can just simply tell ChatGPT exactly what you want it to do, and then it will just do it for you miraculously. It's so easy that your grandmother can do it, and your grandmother will also start to think about mustaches and top hats. Thank you so much for today for watching the video. It has been a pleasure to do this for you. What I'd like you to do is leave a comment below and tell me some prompts and some cool things that you have done. Or if you need help setting this up, I can go ahead and try and walk you through any steps. Make sure to like, make sure to follow because next time we've got some even cooler stuff and then we're going to start to plan our very first stream on Twitch. Thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, toodaloo.